Ride sharing companies could be forced to pay up. KPX 5 Susie Steimel spoke to one San Francisco supervisor who says he is tired of Uber and Lyft not contributing their fair share. Look, ride sharing has its benefits, but. San Francisco supervisor Aaron Peskin says the time for complacency toward rideshare companies is over. He's calling state lawmakers complicit and says lobbyists have influenced California for far too long. They have legions of lobbyists around Sacramento and San Francisco, and there's been no political will to stand up to them. Yesterday, Peskin called on state lawmakers to turn the reins over to cities when it comes to regulating rideshare. Next week, he plans to introduce a city ballot measure for November that would allow San Francisco to tax Uber and Lyft. It could go to police enforcement, it could go to street resurfacing, it could go to traffic calming and pedestrian safety projects that we call Vision Zero. It could go to the whole, a whole host of things. Peskin points out multiple other cities and states have a tax on rideshare companies already. Chicago has a 15 cent tax. Portland taxes 50 cents a ride. Massachusetts gets 20 cents a ride. Philadelphia generated $2.6 million for public schools through a 1.4 percent tax. The state of California and San Francisco are way behind. An Uber spokesperson says the company is well regulated by the Public Utilities Commission, though the company won't reveal how much it pays the PUC or what that money is used for. It also still won't reveal how many cars are in San Francisco on a daily basis, something the city attorney sued Uber and Lyft over. Uber has been um, quite difficult to work with. Now, Peskin says the tax would not be passed on to the customers. It's intended to be a tax on the companies, but he can't keep Uber or Lyft, of course, from raising their rates. Now, Peskin will reveal his proposal to tax Uber and Lyft at Tuesday's board meeting. Susie Steimel, KPIX 5.